Over here, we have the dogs waiting for us. Oh, normally, there's just one dog waiting for us here. The other one tends to go in here and wait by this ladder. So once again, we have this path and also across the bridge there. Branching paths all the time. Down into the sewers and as any good RPG, down in the sewers we fight rats. And we pick up the Cestus, which is a fist weapon. Haven't really tried that one out much, but... Don't worry about this mist. Worry about what's in the mist. Big rat! And by defeating the big rat, you will receive the blood bite ring. Which increases the bleed resistance. In case you're having trouble with the big enemies that using that's using a cleaver as a weapon and sometimes carrying a pot, they cause bleed and if you block them you will quickly build up bleed so this ring is perfect against them. Then he dropped a deserted corpse so over in the right corner ladder. Up we go Open this gate, and what do you know? We're back over here. Bonfire, this is where Hodrick invaded us. So no need to go there just yet, because we still have that giant problem. Over here. Locked gate. So, but we will come back to that later in this episode as well. See what I mean with this episode being a bit longer? Let's try to get his attention. Hey man! Or just kill him I guess. If you pick that item up or walk forward, I think that guy and that guy will actually aggro. Maybe even the guy all... yeah, the guy all the way over there will also react. And this, these guys actually throw their pots sometimes. Oh, that's bad. Okay, 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 hi. There we go. Was not expecting four hits. Ember. And down here, more shinies. We'll get them in just a while. So he throws his pot and brings out the cleaver. You can try to push this guy down actually if you want to. Oi! And he died out of falling damage. Dark soul of a deserted corpse up here around the corner and if you remember when we looked up from them up there we noticed there were dogs in here so let's poke them and alluring skulls I forgot to mention what they actually do you throw them and they act as a decoy some enemies get attracted to them and they will actually you know run to that spot and try to attack the mist that the skull shatters into. And over here we have our next NPC. Hey man. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You, here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, 
Then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. Debbie Downer over here. If like the others, you'll fool. Then go on ahead. <laughs> Fine, be like that. Locked, but we can see someone sitting inside there. Hey man, what's up with the person in there? You like poking around in cells, do you? <laughs> How very genteel. <laughs> ah. Taking an interest in her, if you. Which is a lost cause. Couldn't even become a firekeeper. After I brought her all this way and got her all ready. She's beyond repair, I tell you. <laughs> the woman's a lost call. Couldn't even become... She's beyond repair. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, talking to him. And then we will push on into this abandoned church. Like he said. Whoop. Elevator going up. Oh, another platform coming up, and our next NPC. Hey, man. Mm. Oh, pardon me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up, and that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. This lift only goes down. With a little warming up, eventually... No. No. <laughs> I've got to use my head and think. Poor Sigurd. Hmm. Of course, we hmm. already know the answer to this one. What you can do is quickly run over this button and the elevator will go down bringing up down the other platform that actually goes up but we don't want to do that just yet so let's actually go down and this is just a safety precaution we want to get a bonfire as a good checkpoint in case we die problem is that there is one very dangerous enemy between us and the bonfire, the one down there. It is actually a pontiff knight. And he is very aggressive, almost looks like Vort, and you are not mistaken in that. He also deals frost damage. So, my tip for doing this is simply to slightly aggro him over here and then we're gonna run past him and open up that gate as you can see very 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 quick lucky for us he cannot damage us as we open up this gate and he will not walk outside so now we are safe oh and right outside we have the bonfire and as you can see road of sacrifices this is the next part or next area but we're not done with the undead settlement yet so now we can fight him with that bonfire around the corner 
So in case you die... Woo! You can simply... Fight him again, right away. Also, in case you need to heal up, just back out of the room. And he drops the Irithyll Straight Sword. Which is actually a pretty cool looking weapon. That deals frost damage. So since I took a bit of damage there and used a couple of flasks, let's just heal up. And now that we have that checkpoint, we can go up into the tower and see who's been firing arrow arrows at us. Arrows. And see if we can't help Seagwood a bit more. Since you can see he's actually gone. Oh, come on. There we go. And up we go. Hmm. And that's a hint for the next step in his quest line. Up here, more souls. But before we look for Sigurd again, let's see who's been causing us trouble by shooting arrows. Oh. Hi, man. Who are you? Mike, you wanna stop shooting arrows at us? I help any time. Thank you. And you get a young white branch from him. I help any time. So whenever you will be trying to go past that white birch tree over there, that's where he was shooting arrows, he will not target you, he will simply target other enemies. Which is great for us. You can kill him to receive a ring that increases your bow range. But we will be receiving that anyway later on, so let's leave him be and he will actually help us. Now, Sigurd, we heard his hmm as we were going up. And there were some platforms that allowed us here. Hmm. There we go. Oh, here you are, man. Hmm. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I've a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking some sense into him, no, I think not. He's far too overheated. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. I could try talking. Hmm. So, yeah, we're stuck here. In case we simply don't want to fight that guy. But we do, so... Let's drop down, and as you can tell, he's a big fire demon. So let's see if we, yeah, let's use the flame stone plate ring. Decrease some of that damage he might be doing to us. No items up here, and as soon as you drop down here, and walk up to the edge. Normally he's actually patrolling in a big circle around that square. 
So let's try to get his attention. Hey, man. No! You should have waited! Join me! Well, it's too late now. I, Zigward of the Knights of Katarina, fight by your side! Oops, I got stuck in my corner. Yeah, go, Zigward! Bash him. And as you can see, even though I have a fire infused weapon, I'm still doing decent damage on him. And he's doing decent damage on me. Whoa! Kill him, there we go. Woo! And we get a fire gem. So in case you didn't pick it as your starting gift like I did, now you have one. Congrats. Let's re-equip that. Great Swamp Ring. Heal up. And talk to Seawood. <sighs> that was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. Sigbrow. Your valor. My sword and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Another gesture? Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> and he falls asleep. Speak with him again, too. <sighs> Receive another gesture. So yeah, over here by the edge you have a homeward bone in case you want to flee that battle. So let's take a look around. What was the fire demon actually protecting down here? Nothing behind here it seems like. Nope, nope, nope. But up here and to the left we have the large club weapon. And two items hanging from corpses up here. So let's poke them down. Pale tongue. Important item for this moment in the game at least. Proof of invaders as victory over a host of embers. This is actually for a covenant. And it's the items they collect and you turn them in for to level up that covenant. But by finding this, you trigger the next step in... What's his name? Can't remember it. Ringfinger. He gave us the cracked, ra cracked, red, uh, cracked red eye orbs in High Wall of Lothric. So as soon as you pick this up, the next time you go to Firelink Shrine, he will be there once again and you can speak with him. And here we find the complete northern set. Heavy, but quite good and gives you good frost absorption actually. So it's good against the frost enemy we just fought. Nothing else over here, so let's go in here. And this feels much like a trap. But it's not. Red bug pellet. I Yeah, these are the ones that momentarily increases your resistance to fire. Yeah, definitely boosts fire damage absorption. Up we go. Now, this is a trap. Oh, come on. So yeah, if you walk in here and pick up the item, those two will drop down. And it's just two alluring skulls. Not something you want to get killed over to receive. Out here and to the left. Oh, come on. They do that sometimes in case you're standing too close. 
attacking them. Hi, dogs. Rawr, 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 rawr. Get over here. There we go. Next. I said next. Oh. So yeah, now this is also a way trap. As you can see, lots of them. As soon as you open up that chest, they will fall down, so... Let's just deal with them. Oh, come on. Oh, I was out of stamina. There we go. Clean house. And it's a safe chest. Chain is turned away from us. Human pine resin. This enchants your weapon with poison instead. Up here. And this is quite the nasty encounter. Two of these big ones. So let's see if I can actually just aggro one of them. Yeah. Sadly, she doesn't seem to be one walking towards us. Careful of this one. <laughs> oh, she actually managed to get past the barrels. There we go. And one final shot. Just to be safe. Don't want to fight them two at a time. As you can see, heavy bleed, big sweeping attacks, no fun. Stagger and dead. There we go. Good. Oh, and she dropped her evangelist hat. Continue on out here. This is just one big side track for some loot and we get up on the roof. And we find Flynn's ring. Not a ring I'd recommend using the first time you're playing because lowering equip load increases attack. So, and I don't know how much increased attack you actually get, but I mean, for the best effect, you'd be playing naked. And you don't want that. So that doesn't really seem like it's worth all this trip over here. Defeating a big fire demon and two evangelists. But it's not over yet. As you can see down there is the big stairs. With, and that's the house where the bonfire is beneath. If you walk around here. We can actually drop down here. Boop. Take a bit of falling damage, but it's all right. And drop down to this tower. I think there's, yeah, around here. Homeward bone, in case you want to go home again. Inside, though, heal up. Item down there and there. Dropping all the way down will probably kill you. But there is a ledge over there, so... Try to run and jump. And hit that one, take a little bit of damage, drop down again, take some more, and heal up. You get the mirror set, mirror vest, gloves, and trousers. You can get the hat, but we get that by trading with the Pickle Pea and Pumper Arm. And behind this crate, we find one of my favorite rings, the Chloranthy Ring. So I think I do want souls, but I'm not using spell pyromancy too much right now. So let's take that away. Raises stamina recovery speed. So having this one equipped will actually increase your stamina recovery a bit. So we'll see right now. Goes up pretty quickly. If I use it all up. 
as you can see, speeds up quite a bit. So yeah, with that we have now walked in a giant circle and we're back with by the big stairs. Up here, a transposing kiln lies within its belly. Yeah, the belly. Great curse ridden tree ahead. Does not open from this side. So the only real path we have to take right now is actually the one where the giant was shooting arrows at us. Let's see. Let's see. Oh wait, this is the wrong bonfire. Travel, travel to the dilapidated bridge. That's where we want to go. That's where we're going. Don't worry, almost done with the area. Whew. But I think I've actually managed to pick things up and haven't messed anything up yet. As I say, and I probably jinx it. There we go, good. So yeah, now we can safely walk along this ledge. And just let the giant do the work for you. No need to mess around with those enemies. You can walk up here, but there is no item, sadly. As you can see, quite many enemies, but he will just one-shot them. And the white birch tree. Another one enemy coming out from the house. Embers. Young white branch. Oh, he actually managed to kill both enemies inside the house. That's cool. Another young white branch. Oh, and souls. As you can see, there's one more enemy in there. You can actually try to lure him out. Oops. Oak. Arrows of a giant rain down beside the white birch. So in, whenever we see one of these big trees, we know that the giant will actually help us. Hey man, you want to get, get out here? I'm trying to... Get as much help as I can from this giant. Okay, he's too quick. So let's kill him. Oh. Thanks. Anyway. Handle it. Reinforced club. So yeah. Item out there and you really want this one. But you need to run and jump over this. And... Undead Bone Shard, the first one in the game, and these items you use at the bonfire in Firelink Shrine and burn them. That will actually increase the strength of the SS Flasks. So, very good item. Let's check up here. Should be a couple of items we can pick up here. One especially important one this one. Mortician's Ashes. And yeah, let's just deal with this guy. There's a guy up on the roof here. There we go. Oh! Die. And the Cleric set. Didn't drop anything? Okay. So yeah, the Ashes. We can give those to the maid in Firelink and she will have new items for us to buy. And the items she will give us is, let's see, it is actually charcoal pine resin and charcoal pine bundle, as well as a new key that we can buy, and we will be buying that next time we get to Firelink. Nothing in here. The giant actually managed to kill the enemies in there. Up here, turn around, jump over. 
And you find the Great Scythe weapon. Good dexterity weapon at the beginning of the game. Trust me. C scaling with dexterity. It's actually really good. Also, it gives bleeding. That actually works well on quite many enemies and bosses in the game. So, yeah. Also, I enjoy it because it has these big sweeping attacks. So, it's a I find it a, like a good weapon to play through the game with. Up here, through this corridor, with the pretty flowers. Pretty, pretty flowers. Don't want to go in there just yet. As you can see, enemies and a moving tree. So yeah, you might already figured out what that's going to be. Open this gate. And you realize that you're on top of the big stairs and the door that was locked. Almost done with the area, but first we need to go back to the Fire Link and buy that key that we received from the ashes. Let's see, just gonna check my notes here to make sure I... And that's where we are. So... I think... Yeah, we only have the ashes. So yeah. Ah, well, how? Give her the umbral Gracious. ashes. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> I'm sure they will. And as I said, she has the charcoal pine resin and charcoal pine bundle right now. And the new grave key for 1500 souls. And you want to pick that one up. So let's do that. And that's pretty much it that we want. Ashen if one. you... Be sure to put them. As you can see, Grey Rat isn't curled up anymore and you can actually shop by him. But if you spoke... If you speak with him, he will actually want to go out into the Undead Settlement and plunder. He wants to find more treasure and be able to sell you more things. And you should let him do that, but the moment you say yes to him, he will, and you leave Firelink Shrine, he will be gone. And he will be gone until you've defeated, defeated the next boss. So the best thing to do is actually just leave him be here. Let him be here. Say no, don't go to Under the Settlement. And tell him to go when you're about to go to the next boss. So we will actually not tell him to go right now. We will do that before we go to kill the next boss of the area. And let's see, checking my notes again. We had, oh right. Right, 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 right. We can burn the bone shard. And as you can see down in the left corner, SS Flask is now plus one. Also, I forgot to say show you that down here to the right we now have cornix ah oh, there you are unkindled one i wish to express my gratitude for trusting a lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame as promised i will impart pyromancies to you <laughs> So yeah, in case you didn't pick the Pyromancy or Pyromancer as a starting class, now you can buy the set. And I think if you don't have a Pyromancy Flame, the glove that allows you to cast Pyromancies, he will actually give just straight out give it to you. And you upgrade it through Titanite Shards, like any other weapon. And he sells a couple of Pyromancies as well. But nothing I'm gonna be picking up right Do now. Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? Mm, yes. <laughs> One might wonder. And if you look up to the big throne again, you can actually spot Ringfinger. I keep forgetting his name. Well, hasn't it been some time? Leonard. The ring finger. Remember me? 
I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. You're making quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red-eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. And he gives us a key. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> If you fancy a proper red eye or then kill the dark, he has been a prisoner. Okay. I can see it in your arm. <laughs> okay, Leonard. Okay. So yeah, the... Let's see, lift chamber key. Key to the room of the lift that descends to the deepest dungeon in Lothric. A surviving dark wraith from the land swallowed by darkness is said to be held there. We saw this gate earlier, but not in this episode. Actually, it is located in the High Wall of Lothric, and we will be checking that out in the end of this episode. Oh, wait! I just glanced down at my notes and almost forgot. We have trading to do. With Pickle Pea and Pumper Rum. We have three new items that we can actually give them. So let's just do that real quick. In case, yeah, if the game allows us to exit anytime soon. It's just a hidden loading screen. And up here and up on the roof. So yeah. And let's give them, first of all, let's give them the vertebrae shackle. You get a new gesture, the call over, and the Lucatil mask. So now you have the complete Lucatil set. And next, let's leave them the Siegbrow. Pom 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 pom. And you get the Armor of the Sun armor, and then Alluring Skull. Let's leave one of those. And they give you a hello carving, which is just a funny little item that says hello. Actually, let's just try it out. Use. Hello. <laughs> you can use it indefinitely. It's one of those items that you can use if you co-op with people, invade, anything like that. So yeah, now we're done with that. We have two keys to actually use before we're done. So first of all, let's actually... Yeah, Dilapated Bridge is the closest one. The gate down here in the sewers is the key that we bought from the maid that you get from the ashes that we gave her. So yeah, let's just kill all the rats first because they will be coming after us otherwise. go. Good, good, good. So yeah, let's use the grave key. Drop down here. And to the right. We find the loincloth and the statue of Velka. Request absolution and request dissolution. Requesting absolution, I believe, forgives you in case you've, say, attacked and killed an NPC. You will have sinned. And hang on. 
Oops. Sorry about that. Phone ringing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, absolution. In case you've killed an NPC you've sinned and yeah, that NPC might be most NPCs actually come back or something like that. Uh, and by requesting absolution you will be forgiven. And requesting dissolution is if you do pick levels from Joel and get the Dark Sigil and die, you receive Hollowing. And when you receive Hollowing, your character will actually start looking more and more undead for every time you die. So requesting dissolution actually, actually resets that. So you will go d back to zero Hollowing, but you will still have the Dark Sigil. So when you die, you will start looking more undead again. So yeah, this is not something permanent. If you do that, the only way to permanently get rid of the Dark Sigil is to pay the Firekeeper after you've given her the Firekeeper soul. But by doing that, you actually abandon the whole Yol quest line and you cannot complete it at all. So keep that in mind. Keep on going down here. Up here, you have the red hilted halberd. Scared looking sewers with the mist and all the graves down here. And up here, skeletons getting built up. So let's take care of the corners first. You can, as you can see, you can attack them even before they can react. Some souls there in the middle. Down here there's gonna be an ambush. This one will resurrect and one up over there. And those enemies are not supposed to be down here. This part is a bit bugged. So what has happened is that these two they are a couple of those patrolling up on the bridge following the evangelist walking up towards the big stairs but sometimes they get stuck in the corner and fall down into this little pit and they walk up to the part closest up to the big stairs and which is this corner so they get stuck down here no big problem but still kind of silly yeah, sometimes even the evangelist drops down, so be careful. Check your corners when you want to go out here. And right away you see two shinies and a Titanite bug, but up there we have one of those pot-wielding guys. So run to this bug, but try to push him towards the right wall instead. Kill him, get a heavy gem. Over here, you can pick up this first one, no problem, Titanite Shard, lovely, lovely. Second one though, just run past it, he drops down, trying to crush you, but we are much smarter than that. And pick up another Titanite Shard, so I can see, I think you, no, I think you have five now actually, five Titanite Shards. So you're still missing one in case you haven't received any at all from defeating enemies in the High Wall of Lothric. So actually, you will, will not find any more in this area. You will find another one in the next one. But, you know, might be an idea just to go back and farm for one. And that allowing you to increase your weapon up to a plus four in case you receive the large type night charts as well. Shoot down this one. Blessed red and white shield plus one. Down here. You see one rat, but it's actually many, many rats.
and they can actually quite easily swarm you, so be a bit careful here. At least they are not ever respawning. Some souls, and we get a Saints as Talisman. Climb up the ladder, and you might realize that we are actually now behind the door where she was locked in. So yeah, let's speak with her. Uh, who is there? Is someone there? Anyone? Oh, please, whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Ah, oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. Then I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. New gesture? Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. And another one serving us. So yeah, let's go out and talk with Mr. Big Guy. You've gone and rescued her, have you? How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> yeah. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. <laughs> What's the matter? I and <laughs> so yeah, now we've done all of that. And we can actually travel back to... Mm, actually, just the last bonfire. I'm gonna do this just to speed things up a little, little bit. Even though it's a very long episode. So, yeah. And we will be traveling back to High Wall of Lothric and the second bonfire tower on the wall. This is where we will find the gate that Leonard gave us the key to. Got quite a lot of souls. I'd actually recommend you spending yours off before doing this. It can be a bit dangerous. Oh, come on, I struck. I struck you. Come on, man. Oh, this is going peachy. So yeah, down the stairs and down the ladder. Let's take care of this guy first. So yeah, this is the path where we first found Grey Rat. Ooh, Rogan, thanks man. 
heal up, but yeah, as soon as you come down the ladder, you can use the lift chamber key. And take the lift down. Dead bodies. And in the middle of the room, the dark wraith that he spoke of. Can be a dangerous enemy, actually. So... You have that grabbing attack. Whoa! Okay. As you can see, very dangerous. Oh, damn. No, I wanted to double chug. There we go. You can backstab him, I just didn't succeed. And you receive the red eye orb. And this one works just as the cracked, <laughs> crack, cracked red eye orb. So you use it to invade other people when playing online. Except that this one doesn't break every time you use it. So it's one that you can use for as many times as you like. So if you're one of those people that has fallen in love with the PvP aspect of this game. This is a pretty important item for you I'd say. <laughs> And yeah, up to the bonfire, and let's return to Firelink Shrine. And now we can speak with Leonard again, since we went ahead and got that. Red Eye Orb. Aha, you found a proper red eye. Brilliant. I knew you were a dangerous woman. And we get the applause gesture. Now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on, give yourself to Rosaria. Of the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> he speaks of another covenant that we will be able to join later on in the game. Now invade and, and if you come on, give you <laughs> So yeah, we have gone as far as we can for the moment with his quest line. And the rest will actually I will be doing that at the end of the game because if you pick his quest line before another character's quest line you actually you can't do them in that order because there's an npc that hates him or the covenant that he is with so joining that one will actually break the other quest line so you need to finish that one before you can actually finish up leonard's so yeah i think that's it now would be the perfect opportunity or perfect time to talk with Grey Rat and tell him to go and plunder Undead Settlement. I will do that in the beginning of the next episode, which will be when we attack or attack when we challenge the next boss of the area. So yeah, until then, take care and happy gaming. Bye bye.